Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Presca Caliber Club. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another product from AB Suppressor. This is their F4L 9mm dedicated pistol caliber carbine can. Now, this is a really cool product offering from AB Suppressor. It's got a bunch of really cool features, so let's go talk about it. At a shockingly light 4.5 ounces, the F4 and the 5.6 ounce F4L represent a pivotal advancement in 9mm PCC suppressor technology. Much like its predecessor, the Sabre, the F4 and F4L are designed with dedication in mind, built from 100% grade 5 titanium and circumference welded for maximum strength. Much of the F4's beauty lie in the simplicity and ability to seemingly disappear from the end of the firearm during operation due to its near zero footprint, less than five inches and less than five ounces. The F4L is designed with three additional baffles, adding a mere 1.1 inches, but providing maximum sound suppression. Perfect for plug and play on any pistol caliber carbine, the F4 and F4L utilize a flush direct thread mount on the barrel shoulder or taper for the MPX variant for an all muzzle forward design. The fixed direct thread mount makes for easy installation removal while keeping the overall length and total system weight to an absolute minimum. Wrench flats on the base of the mount make for easy torquing onto the firearm's muzzle and ensure the suppressor stays securely in place during any course of fire. So guys, as you can tell, AB has put a lot of time and effort into designing this can. Now this specific can is the new F4L. This is 1.1 inches longer than the F4. It is just slightly longer. This thing is extremely light. It feels like there's next to nothing in your hand. They, of course, have the Spiral Tech baffles, which AB is known for. That helps swirl, cool um, the gases, you know, inside of the suppressor. The really cool thing, I've done some videos in the past, is that this suppressor does get up to full temperature quickly. However, it cools down even quicker. So the benefit of having these light titanium suppressors is the fact that the uh, even if you're running them in full auto, yes, they're going to get to temperature fast, but they're going to cool down much faster, allowing you to put the gun back or whatever you need to do much quicker. Now, of course, this is 9mm, and we're talking 9mm here, so that's kind of a little bit different thing. But all in all, you kind of know the details and the, the specs of the suppressor from earlier in the video. Um, instead of running this on a pistol caliber carbine, which of course, you know, is, is really great because this thing is so tiny, the diameter, you can fit it within the handguard. You can kind of tuck this away and hide it. But today, just for today's video, I'm going to be running mine on my... Uh, Beretta because this does not have the browning tilt barrel. As far as this suppressor goes on a handgun such as this, it is just unbelievably light. It feels like there's nothing there. The can is nice and quiet. It threads on nice. It looks beautiful. This thing is just a really a, a pure work of art. And so after we... Um, after we take a look at the numbers from AB Suppressor and, and how well this can suppresses, I'll take you out into the workshop. I'm going to take a few shots. We're not going to shoot a ton here, but I'll, I'll take a few shots. I'll run some subsonic ammo, and then I'll run the gun without a suppressor so you can hear the difference between all three, uh, at least in my environment. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and check out the decibel levels. Uh, let's cover some decibel numbers. This was recorded by them on a pulse meter per uh, standard industry specifications and testing. Uh, they did at ear and at the muzzle numbers on a CZ Scorpion 4.5 inch barrel. It came in at 128 decibels at the ear and 134 at the muzzle. Um, and they did retest their F4 because this was a new higher quality meter than they were using before and their older F4, the shorter one that I already reviewed, 
came in at 136 at the ear and 134 at the muzzle. So the muzzle numbers were close, the ear number much lower on the L. You can see the suppressor definitely, um, you know, is in the running with the rest of the big dogs. This thing is a decent can, it, it suppresses well, and um, I think the next step, the next thing that we need to do is just run out to the workshop and uh, take a few shots ourselves and see how we like it. So let's head out, take a few shots, and then we'll finish up the video. All right, guys, so here we are in the workshop. We're out here with my Beretta. I have the ABF4L. We're going to take a couple of shots with the Beretta unsuppressed so you can hear how loud it is. I'm going to then put the suppressor on and I'll dump the rest of the magazine so you can kind of compare the sounds and see what this sounds like. Now, of course, this is a dedicated PCC can, so it's a little bit more designed for a pistol caliber carbine or, you know, some of the stuff that I have up on the wall here. But just for fun today, we're going to run it on the Beretta. So two shots unsuppressed. I'll suppress the weapon and then dump the rest of the mag. So let's get this going. We ready? Let's do it. Two rounds, unsuppressed. We're gonna go ahead and thread our suppressor. This weapon is clear. Go ahead, put our magazine back in, and we'll go ahead and dump the rest, and then head back in. Here we go. Ooh, not even enough to cycle. It's subsonic ammo, everybody. right on the edge of being able to run this stuff. And there it is. The F4L 9mm suppressed. All right, guys, now let's see how this thing runs on my Zenith Z5P with the Franklin Armory Binary Trigger. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is the AB Suppressor F4L. This thing is truly a really awesome, amazing nine millimeter can. Uh, this thing would be um, really a great addition to anybody's pistol caliber carbine collection. One little secret that not a lot of people know, there are some CZ guns that have contracted AB suppressor to make their suppressors. So if you go back and you start to recognize some of these designs and you're like, well, wait a minute, this is a CZ product, but it's got this suppressor on it. It came from AB. AB suppressor is truly an amazing company. Brad and Laura over there, I, I, I truly appreciate them. I love their business model. I love the company itself. And they've always been very, very good to me. And I really appreciate the products they they make and, and everything they do. So I don't really have a whole lot more for you guys today. I hope that if you, uh, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Um, but also, be sure that you don't forget to stay safe. And as always, keep prepping.